previous lesson, we talked about ratio increase and ratio decrease. Uh, today, we want to talk about direct proportion. And you can see from there, from our, uh, our topic here, we were talking about uh, ratio and proportion. So, under ratio and proportion, we are going to talk about direct proportion. So, the question here, let's look at an example. Our first example, the cost of eight shirts is 560 Kenya shillings. So what is the cost of 11 shirts? So here, we have been told that eight shirts cost this one. This is the cost of eight shirts. But now these people want us to get the cost of 11 such shirts. So how can we do that? So there are two ways of getting the what? How to get the answer. First, you can get even there, you can get the cost of one shirt. Then after that, you multiply by what? By the number here, which is 11. Or you can just work it directly. Just say if if eight shirts if eight shirts is equal to how much? Five hundred and sixty Kenya shillings. Therefore, eleven shirts is equal to what? Then you cross multiply. So we are going to have eleven shirts. Eleven shirts times. 560 Kenya shillings all over eight shirts. Shirts with shirts. Then we, ma we divide this one, eight by this one. So eight here, one, eight here. Uh, how many times? Uh, seven times. I think I'm right. So 70. Then you multiply this times this one, which you will get 770 Kenya shillings. So that is the cost of what? That is the cost of 11 shirts. Very simple. Or I said, or how can you do it? You can get the cost of the cost of one shirt. So just say if if eight shirts is equal to what? Is equal to this amount, which is 560. Therefore, one shirt is equal to what? Which will mean you cross multiply, which is one times 560. All over eight goes here, one goes here, seven to mean the one shot is 70. But how much, how many shots were we having? 11. So you multiply this one times 11 to get 707, 70, which is still the same thing, class. Uh, let's look at example two. Example two. And here you have to be very keen. Malanda takes, so Malanda is the name of a person. Malanda takes four days to weed a flower garden. Malanda takes four days to weed a flower garden. Kaburu takes six days to weed the same garden. So we have two people here weeding. We have Malanda who takes four days to weed the garden and also Kaburu who takes six days to weed the what? The garden. So if Malanda, the question, if Malanda and Kaburu works together, so now these people working together in the same garden, what fraction of the garden would they weed in one what? In one day. So, Malanda, we have Malanda, who is taking how many days? Four days to weed the garden. And we have also another person known as Kaburu, who takes six days to weed the garden. Now, for us to know the fraction in which these people are going to take in, weed, in one day to weed the garden, what do we do? We have to get in one day. What is the fraction Malanda is going to weed in one day? In one day, what fraction is Malanda going to weed? So to mean each and every person, we have to know the fraction that uh, they are going to do what they are going to weed. So let's start with the Malanda. So Malanda is taking four days to weed the garden. To mean in one day, the fraction of the garden that Malanda is going to weed will be one all over, all over four, because it's taking four days. To mean now, the fraction of the garden that this person is going to weed in one day will be one all over four. Then this person, Kaburu, takes six days. To mean the fraction in one day that Kaburu is going to weed in one day. So in a day, fraction in one day, this person is going to take one all over four. Then this person in one day is going to one all over six. Kaburu is going to take one over six of the garden in a day. Malanda is going to take one over four 
fraction of the garden in one what? In one day. So these people, when now they are working together, when they are working together, what is the fraction they are going to read in one day? So to mean you add this one plus this one, then that's the answer, the final answer. So that one of Malanda plus that one of Kabu, Kaburu. So you add this one to get your final answer. The fraction that they are going to read in one what? In one day, the fraction of the garden. So we look at the LCM. So let's look at the LCM. So our LCM here is uh, 12. So that's the LCM. So this one goes here how many times? Three times. Three times this one, three. Then we add this one goes here two times two, that's one, two. Then you add this one, you get five all over 12. 12. So this is the fraction that these people are going to do what? To read in one what? In one day class. So that is our final answer. Five all over 12. 12. So that's the fraction of the garden that they are going to read in one in one day. Make sure that you revise this one. So when we come back our, in our next lesson, we are going to talk about more challenging questions under this topic. May you have a nice day and please make sure that you take the precautions about the coronavirus so that we protect ourselves. May you have a nice day.